and greetings. Uh, today I wanted to um, discuss the two basic types of um, single pipe steam uh, radiator valves uh, that are uh, currently available today. Um, in an earlier video I discussed uh, the boiling liquid expanding vapor type as epitomized by the uh, Hoffman 40. Um, as you may recall, what's happening here is that you have an outer shell and an inner uh, chamber with a flexible diaphragm with a liquid that boils at a lower temperature than the uh, steam that's entering it. And as the steam enters and heats up the uh, liquid inside this chamber, the liquid boils, uh, turns into a vapor, expands and shuts off uh, the vent and keeps it from uh, releasing steam. And uh, the other, at, at one other advantage of having a vessel inside of here is that uh, if this fills up with water, at least uh, the uh, squirting of uh, excess water is considerably reduced, although not eliminated. And that uh, covers that. The other type is what I would call the uh, well, the Gorton uh, type, made by the Gorton uh, vapor uh, Gorton um, Heating Corporation of Cranford, New Jersey. And what, as you can see, it has a definite uh, different shape and cut it off and reveal that it works well it looks see this chamber here but this is actually uh, just it's not a solid chamber it's hard to remove but the basic principle of this is that there is a bimetallic strip here so as the um, steam enters the vent. Um, it heats up the strip, which it consists of two different metals, which have uh, different expansion and contraction rates. So as um, the uh, outer strip of metal on this band uh, has a slightly higher uh, expansion rate than the inner strip of metal, and it'll tend to curl and push this um, seat up into the hole and close off in the event of um, steam reaching this vent. This chamber here is designed to uh, catch uh, air and if this vent fills up with water it'll also uh, drive this up into the seat in the absence of steam. You can see it moves freely and um, will reduce the amount of water coming out of the vent. Um, there are a couple of patent numbers proudly printed on this. I'll read them off to you. Uh, 249-4293 and 270-950. Um, a superficial examination of them uh, pretty much has to deal with the uh, details of the um, bimetallic strip in question. It does seem that these vents um, can last longer than the uh, boiling liquid type because there's no vapor to escape through a bad solder joint. Um, as long as the bimetallic strip continues to work, uh, there should be no problem. The only issue might be if there's dirt or uh, something caught between the seats and the um, the pin uh, that would allow the uh, steam to leak. The other issue with these vents is they tend to come in uh, larger um, vent sizes. You can see there's a massive difference between the holes of these two. This is the Type C, as in Charlie. Uh, they come in the number four, number five, number six, 
C and then D uh, for being a tiny pinhole, which is uh, generally smaller than the Hoffman 40. The 5 is roughly equivalent to the Hoffman 40, uh, more or less depending on um, factory variances of the hole. 6 is definitely larger than the 40. The C, as you can see, has a huge uh, vent, and uh, the D is almost um, oversized. A lot of times you would put a D on a very, very large and hard to heat radiator, and um, that would tend to eliminate whether it was a venting problem or not. In other words, if you put this on a radiator and it still doesn't heat, then it's not a venting problem. There's something else preventing the steam from getting to the radiator. Um, and that's a job for another day. The vent itself is very well constructed. Uh, soldered and uh, connections are used throughout. Uh, it's all metallic um, construction and um, is generally a very rugged vent. It's just uh, usually they people tend to buy a big hole and what will happen is this will start to um, fill up with uh, minerals and eventually start start to leak and then people play, blame the vent. Um, the other competitor for this type is um, this one. It's a um, Mado Mist uh, Jacobus registered trademark self-adjusting radiator valve and um, the construction of this, I think, if you compare them side to side, um, is definitely uh, of a lower quality, um, which is kind of a shame because Jacobus was the, apparently, according to the uh, patent search that I was able to do, uh, Jacobus was the one who came up with um, this particular type of vent. Um, they have a patent number on there. Uh, 240029 and then because of the poor stamping quality uh, you cannot read the 7. Um, the other issue with this is if this fails and you have to go to remove it if you then grip it and try to uh, unthread it from the radiator sometimes this crimp will fail and you have to rip this from the radiator and, and, and grip it with um, uh, miniature pliers to get it off and it's a real pain in the butt. This one doesn't tend to fail in that way. It's all, all uh, soldered joints whereas this is uh, crimped on the outside so they saved a few pennies on that. The um, bimetallic strip is basically the same but another area where they um, uh, lowered their cost is that instead of a metallic um, float in here they used a plastic float which um, well you can guess what that might cause uh, in, in terms of, of, of failure. Uh, obviously they had to use a high temperature plastic and um, that would may work, but I don't think that the lifespan of this is going to be um, uh, near this at all. Um, and the cost difference is really not all that much when you um, compare uh, the longevity of, of these, these valves. I've replaced a lot more of these than I have of, of these. The one advantage that the Mato Mist valve has is that the vent hole is removable and you can um, replace this with the various different size um, orifices. This one happens to be labeled 6 which is the um, next size down from the uh, C the C style vent. So these come in D, C, 6, 5, and 4 on down. Um, he pays your money and you takes your chance. Um, again, these have the advantage of being able to uh, be adjustable. However, that can be a disadvantage in that if this is in a tenant space, uh, the tenant or 
unauthorized person can remove this and um, you could uh, have um, spitting and hissing problems and dirt and, and stuff can get down into the into the, um, the uh, orifice here. Whereas this one, because this is at a right angle, there's less likelihood of uh, something getting down in there. Um, or, and of course you can't remove it. Um, disadvantage of this is not adjustable. The advantage of it is it's not adjustable. Um, again, this might be a good um, vent to buy if you don't really know um, what uh, size uh, vent you're going to need overall. And you buy yourself a selection of these uh, orifices and you can change them out um, relatively easily without removing the entire vent um, and give, gives you that uh, adjustable feature. Um, Gorton also makes one of the larger um, vents available and I happen to have an example here. You may have seen it in an earlier uh, video, but here it is. Um, patent numbers on it are uh, 2494293 and uh, 2709550. Uh, this was supplied to me by uh, the uh, Gordon Heating Corporation. My thanks to them. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, unused. And again, you see the bimetallic strip. The only moving, the only really uh, moving part besides this um, seat and ball pin. Uh, the construction is of quality is of first class. Um, and this is, of course, the float inside. So if this fills up with water, uh, this will jam up there um, and um, keep the, most of the water from coming out. So there again is the uh, really nice construction on this thing. Really pretty. Uh, brazing rather than soldering. Um, you can see in there, again, the bimetallic strip and the, um, the uh, large, large um, hole. Um, the nearest uh, standard vent competitor of this is the Hoffman um, 75 and um, as you saw from an earlier example I have cut away a Hoffman 75 and um, the longevity of the Hoffman 75 even um, made to high quality standards is much lower than the uh, Gorton uh, number two. So this would uh, represent a better value and also it vents a whole heck of a lot more than the Hoffman 75. I think it's uh, like three times uh, the venting capacity. So that is the major differences among uh, the vents that I know of and I hope that this um, uh, video has uh, helped you and uh, if you have any questions or comments as always please um, put them below and I look forward to getting them. Thanks.